Welcome back to our Microsoft project tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to apply a work breakdown structure numbering system to the items in our project schedule. And before we get into it, I want to mention that a work breakdown structure numbering system allows us to create a custom coding for our activities based on uh, our office practice and this means that you will find different coding systems depending on what organization you are working for and this 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 allows us to be able to uh, make better references to this uh, schedule and so for us here with this uh, fish pond development uh, project what i want us to do is to create a custom uh, coding system for this project apply this numbering system using the work breakdown structure style so what we do is we go to the project tab which is here between the report and the view tab the project tab click on it and then you can see here we have work breakdown which is written as wbs and when you put your mouse with the, the, this cursor over it you will see some information uh, it reads wbs define or number the work breakdown structure the w BS is an alphanumeric code that uniquely identifies the tax place in in this uh, outline structure. So click on that. You will see an option for defining code. Click on that. Then there will be this pop-up that opens. And the first thing we are going to do is uh, define the sequence because as you can see we have uh, four columns here the one is for level column number two is sequence column number three is length and number four is uh, the separator so when i click on this drop down you will see four options numbers ordered which is the first one we have uppercase letters we have lowercase letters and characters and so I will choose I will choose numbers for my sequence and under length I want to only have two I only want to have uh, two digits for this and then the separator I will use a dot that is for the first one and as I move you will see a preview up here as i continue defining the sequences before we go to the next level note that we have these buttons ticked because i want to generate a a code for every new task and verify the uniqueness of the new codes as i continue working on the project so for the next level i also will have numbers and the length will be two digits with a dot as the separator we'll have up to three levels and i'll put the same options for everyone every one of those then click ok so if, if you look at it you cannot see anything that has changed what now what we are going to do is we will introduce a new column for the numbers so i i click i select all of this then right click and choose insert column and then type column name column name i will use w b s which is work breakdown structure so click on this the first one and when i click on that 
see what happens with the that column we have the numbers in place now so the next thing i will show you is maybe we want to do more customizations to to this to these numbers i'll get back to this define code and there is a project code prefix let's say this is a we can choose to have our job number for that project let's say the job number was this qba then 2020 let's say 01 or let's say just qba 2020 this is the code that's now the project code prefix which 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 in in my case refers to the the the, the project job number so if i click on okay you will see it is updating this column so as you can see we've been able to do a wps numbering system wbs rather wbs numbering system for our project and every task now has a unique identifying code that is related to our project and is related to the numbering systems that we use for our offices which as i said will vary from one office to another because we have varied in the different office practices so that's it for this video i hope it has been helpful and you've learned something thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up and like share with your friends share with your other project managers and if you like you can also support this channel by subscribing and you will have done a good thing see you in the next video cheers